In the previous video, we converted PNG pixel based artwork into vector graphics with image trace. I want to show you now the two options that we have under method for abutting and overlapping and what the impact is. So under method in here, you've got one that's called abutting, which um, only creates what you can see. And then you have overlapping, which Illustrator will guess what needs to happen behind each of the colors in your tracing. So for this option, I'm going to choose overlapping. I'll click on that button and then it will update accordingly. Then I can head down to the bottom of the properties panel and click on expand. It will remove the artwork that was the PNG from the document. Doesn't do anything to the PNG, but it's just dispensed with it. And now we're left with only vector artwork. Everything inside of image trace has been deactivated because there's no pixel based artwork to trace. There's nothing for it to work with. Therefore it's kind of become redundant now. And at this point, then um, you go down to the quick actions and then keep clicking on the ungroup button until it disappears. Well, in this case, I had to click on it once. This will all be selected at the moment. So I will just click away at the side of the artboard and then left click on the background because in order to create those overlapping regions, illustrators also decided to uh, trace the background of white. So I'm just going to delete that by hitting the backspace key or the delete key. And then elements like here with a bird, if I click on the bird, and drag and pull that away, you'll notice that there is a solid shape behind it. So we couldn't see what happened behind that bird, but Illustrator has taken a guess and it thinks that yes, when you remove the bird, that it should have a solid purple background to it. So that's what overlapping means. If I click and drag and move this, you will notice that, well, it's got a doorway in there, but um, it's actually created them as separate shapes. For every area of color, it is its own shape. Um, again, with these up at the top, again, you'll notice that these have been drawn individually. So they're all separate shapes. So there are pros and cons to both of these techniques. We don't need this much flexibility with our artwork. We're actually going to take just the castle uh, in here. So I'm going to go up to the select menu and then choose all an active artboard and then hit the backspace key or the delete key on the keyboard to remove those. Zoom out grab the other tracing uh, version in here, zoom back in again, and then notice that the image trace options are all sprung to life in there. And under method this time, we'll leave it set to the default of a button. So we will only get a vector tracing of what we see. I'll then go down to expand. I'll then click on ungroup until that button under quick actions is no longer visible. And I know that my artwork has been separated and then I will deselect the artwork and I'll start to click and move some of this apart. So dragging the castle artwork here, you see that it is separated, but each of the components where they are different colors are separate objects. I'll just zoom in and then I'll close down the image trace panel because we don't longer need it. And if I start to just pull some of the artwork away here from its original position, you'll see that wherever we have a color, it's a separate shape. It won't try and guess what happens behind that artwork. Instead, we just get a kind of bird shaped hole behind. As a final step, once you have image traced, it's definitely worthwhile going to the view menu and choosing the outline view, because if there are any small elements that have been traced that you don't need, they're just going to add to data and they're really going to become a bit of a pain really and get in the way. So it's better just to go into that view. And if you do find any small random elements, select them and delete them. And I'll go back up to the view menu and reinstate the preview mode. Then go to the file menu and save our edits.